for making all sorts of resolutions to be a, to be a, a better husband, to be a marvel of the rachot, to love your neighbor like yourself, to give more charity, to spend more time learning Torah, and all, the, all, all things of, of great, great infinite value. <clears throat> but then when it comes down to it, as the further we get away from the Virginia Kipper, so the, these resolutions seem to fade, uh, fade on to background. So what, what's the, what value does it have, the, the, all these resolutions? It's like the story they tell a, uh, a, a lady was rushed to the emergency room with a, a bone stuck in her throat and she was choking to death. So uh, the, they rushed her into the operating room, this, the surgeon removed the bone, she was able to breathe again, she was fine. Uh, after the final visit, when he was ready to discharge her, she says, Doctor, what do I owe you? So he said, so my dear young lady, he says, give me just half as much as, as you were, were ready to pay when the bone was in your throat yet. <laughs> Our sage, the Chazal, say, B'tchila, all of Machshava, the, uh, the, the, almighty, the inclination of Almighty Rabbi Islam, his inclination was to create the world uh, with strict, absolute judgment. Uh, we saw that in Yochel the sky we realized that a human being has shortcomings and he has, he has so many temptations uh, living in this. Uh, so in shoots it, he made a partner, a shooter, a shooter he made with Yomadin Mirs, with Mirs Adin, Mirs Harachamim. He made mercy, compassion. To, he, uh, he created the world with, with both. He created the world with strict, absolute judgment and also with compassion. The question is, what value what what what's the importance? My have have whatever your mighty inclination was, so it, it was it passed. This this is what happened. Why is it important for our sages to uh, uh, to set before us your mighty inclination? What he originally intended was his well done, and what he originally did do. <coughs> the. The difference is the following. A person is judged on two levels. He's judged by his understanding, his reasoning, his thinking. He's judged by knowing what's right from wrong. And he's also judged by what he actually, in theory, he's judged by what in theory. Is in theory what he understands, but he judges in actual indeed what he actually followed through with. Uh, so in, in, in actual deeds, what actually the way a person lives and, and how he conducts his life, so the Almighty judges him according to compassion. He realizes that he has all sorts of temptations. This world is from all sides. He's always tempted. He has a uh, he has a family to support. So he has to make a living. He has there's there's all sorts of distractions in this world. And so, and he's not an angel. He's not a malach. Uh, so he so he has difficulty in keeping a straight line. So, insofar is is actually deed itself the maizeh, the way a person conducts himself. So the Almighty takes in consideration all of these, and he judges him with compassion. But in, in so far as theory and understanding, that he's judged with absolute justice. To understand right from wrong, that, that whether you can follow through is one thing, but to understand right from wrong, black and what's black and what's white, that there's, there's no room for any compassion there. It, it, it's like someone 
when you, he builds a house. So he builds a house on a, a, a crooked foundation, the house won't stand. But if he builds a house with a, with a leaky roof, leaky roof he can get, that, 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 that's, that's no problem. Uh, also yesterday I mentioned something, because those who weren't here, something very interesting. <coughs> Uh, it mentioned this week's Torah in Sedra, the Mish, uh, when the, there's conscription and people are, are going out, uh, conscription are going out to conduct war. So the, uh, 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 it says that uh, someone who was conscripted, is going out to war. He, he built a house. Uh, he shouldn't go out to war. He should go back. By because perhaps he'll be a fatality, he'll be killed in action. Uh, and somebody else will enjoy everything, all the sweat and time and money they put into building a, a dream, a vision, a, a brand new house. My goodness. Uh, that something uh, in a lifetime, how many people go through that? Not, not many. So he, he, should, he should go home and he should enjoy the house, not somebody else. Rashi comments, what's the problem? Zobri says, Agnes Stefish. Rashi says it's very upsetting for someone else, you build a house and you never lived in it. And somebody else lives in it. He said, that's something that's very upsetting. It's talking about selfish. Well, what is it puzzling? What could be more argument selfish? What could be more upsetting than leaving this world? That's the greatest upsetting that the person endures being here. What means upsetting? Some young people. Our sages also tell us that Mrs. Tome Koshimi Kulon. Someone who, who uh, has, has, goes through a catastrophe of uh, from dying from thirst, that's the most catastrophic uh, death that a person can endure. Dying from, what, what's more difficult about that than any other illness or, or fatality? Because at a time when a person is about to leave this world, his thought should be to ha have before him a uh, all of the, the way he conducted himself, the way he lived, the things that he did, and and to realize what he did right and what he did wrong, and to have in mind chuve, have in mind repentance. How can how can he repent and for, for everything that he did and didn't, didn't do? So instead of that. He's thinking about that somebody, he built a house, look at the time and the money and the energy, all the dreams that he had. He's going to live in that brand new house, in that mansion, and all of a sudden somebody else lives in it, not he. So, so that, that's the aggravation. The aggravation is he's, he's not focused on the right thing. And the same thing and the same applies when someone unfortunately is, dies from thirst, so instead of thinking, Thinking that he, he, he's, he's leaving this world to, to make a reckoning of the way he conducted himself, how he lived, and how he didn't, did do and didn't do what he's supposed to. He's thinking about perhaps he'll get some more drop of water and, and that, that way he'll be able to save his life. Mm -hmm.